shelter in place in our RV? How's that going to work? Can you and should you travel during a pandemic? I don't know. <laughs> Okay guys, since the last time you saw us, we've been bouncing around, just killing time until we head back to Missouri. Trying to keep the weather as warm as we can. So we was also keeping an eye on the pandemic that had begun and trying to be careful. So we're going to begin the video before all of the stay at home orders were in place. It was right when the panic buying started. Luckily, we had plenty of TP, but we were <laughs> having a hard time finding water. All right, we just did two nights at another free campground with hookups, full hookups. We are in Mule Shoe, Texas. <laughs> Mule Shoe, and we seen the world's largest mule shoe. It's not real, it's fake, but <laughs> it's about the only thing to see in this town, so. And lots of grass for Amy. Yeah, there was grass. It's a nice little place, yeah. though. It's just right off the main road coming through town. The gravel's nice and smooth. Yep, not bad for free. Uh, Can't be free. It's been rainy and crappy every day, so. We're just kind of finding places that's nice to camp, that's not muddy. Yep. And hookups are nice so we can run the rooftop heat and not have to burn propane. So yeah, definitely helping. It's chilly. But I think we're going to keep going east just a little bit at a time. And we're probably going to hit some freezing weather Friday, but it's like most of the country unless we head back west or deep south and... We just don't want to backtrack. We're making our way back to Missouri, to St. Joseph, and it's just how it is. Gotta make the best of it sometimes. Yeah, there's only like one really cold night, maybe two, and then it starts warming up everywhere, even back in St. Joe, so. Yeah. Should be good. We'll have a two-day winter, possibly. <laughs> oh, what a hopeless case we could be, yeah. So we ended up doing a couple free days at another campsite. Yep, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but it was in Texas. It did nothing but rain for the entire two days we was there and it flooded all around us. I did find a really cool car museum, this couple's collection up in the little town here, but it was by appointment only and I didn't want to bother them with what's going on. Hardy's Classic Cars, open by appointment. Wow, he has an awesome collection in here. This is really cool. You probably can't see it very well. Wow. So about this time, things were getting worse. People were putting in the shelter in place orders and it was starting to get a little creepy. Well, yeah, I mean, our entire lives, we've never heard of such a thing. We've never, we've never, you know, it's, it's, a, this is crazy. This is something we've never experienced. Walmarts were getting empty by 9 p.m. Shopping centers were empty. Casinos were empty. It was getting a little creepy. To be on the road. So instead of being stuck in a strange place somewhere, we decided the best place probably for us to be while this is going on is back in our hometown in St. Joseph where our family is and we know where everything is and we can do our shopping when we need to and things like that. Plus we were pretty much planning on going that direction anyway. Spring and fall is when we usually try to go back home, yep. take care of personal things and see family. So it just seemed like a good idea. Yep. So we do what we do <laughs> and drive. Looking back at the good times Before it all went down Climbed right up on the hillside A different view of my life You left me running on and on But I don't care would you let me in You said goodbye like everything's gone Everything 
after a lot of driving, we have made it back to St. Joseph, Missouri. Hi, Amy. Is it cold here? Yeah, we got back like the two coldest nights coming up, but after that it warms up. It's gonna be 60s. But we stayed at the Sam's Club next to the Walmart. It looks pretty normal. Hopefully they're not spreading it around. Gas is cheap, $1.78 and we are heading to the campground where this whole journey started. So we are now in St. Joe and we are prepared to wait it out. It's just not safe to be on the road. Technically, you can still travel. They have not closed any highways or any gas stations, but what's really the point? And to me, where do you wanna be if something did happen? Plus, we like to do things when we travel, and everything is closed. Also, for me, I feel like it's raising our risk of getting it and passing it on from place to place when we have to stop at gas stations and stuff like that so often. And we're always, if we're traveling, we're always going to a different Walmart. We have to go to laundromats. So even though the gas is cheaper than we have seen it in years, it is really just not safe for us and anyone we come in contact with to keep traveling right now. So we're going to hopefully sit here and wait it out and hopefully things start getting better and everything opens back up and we can get back on the road. Yep. We had really big plans for the summer. But where we were heading was the epic center of the pandemic. So we got to change our plans. Yeah, it was going to be lots of new places, new states, but things happen. Hopefully our new plans will also be new places and new states, just a different direction. Yeah. We will still be making some videos, just probably kind of not what you guys are used to, but I do have some RV repairs and a very big upgrade I'm getting ready to install as soon as I get a nice day, so. Exciting. So subscribe if you haven't and ding that bell so you don't miss those videos. Also, you can follow us on social media. All the links and info are in the video description below. And we'll see you all soon. Stay safe, guys. Thanks for watching, and call your grandma. <laughs>